Hello, it's Chantal from notanotherpuppy.com. Um, I have a hopefully not so long, hopefully a quick video for you on my haul from <laughs> um, Boots in the UK and also from eBay. I did a little purchase on eBay that I would like to do. Um, so first of all, I don't have vibes for the camp for the quality of this video because it's miserable. It's summer in Joburg still, but it has been raining now for I think this is either the eighth or the ninth day straight. Been a little bit obsessed. Um, I also have what are they called? Pop and Glow Number Seven. It's from the number the number seven brand pop and glow they are cream blush sticks looking forward to them um i've been dying to try these but i have to blog them first before i mess them up these are rose blossom is the pink one and mango sorbet i'm looking forward to this i haven't had a blush in this peachy shade um so i'm opening my boots bag it's in a different bag because um, Ashley is a blogger. Her blog's called quintessentiallyme.co.uk. I think I'll put a link down below, down under. Um, she brought some things over for me. So some of these things I bought and some of them she brought over for me as gifts. She's very nice like that. Um, so I'll start showing you. She brought me two. Oh, and I didn't plan on doing a video. So my hair is really dirty, it's actually sticky from all the dry shampoo. My nail polish is all chipped, so we're not going to be paying any attention to that. I'm trying to hide them. Um, and I think I have things in my teeth. Okay, so we have two nail polishes from Topshop. We have Topshop as well, but I don't know if we have these matte nails. Um, the one is like a milky yellow, which I'm looking forward to trying. Um, and the other one is a cerise pink. Um, then there is also nail polishes from Barry M, which I was quite curious about. There we go. From the it's the jelly finish, which is the high shine gel finish from Barry M. Um, Last week I didn't have one navy nail polish and this week I have three. So I think well done to me for that. Been a little bit obsessed. Um, I also have what are they called? Pop and Glow. Number seven is from the number the number seven brand. Pop and Glow. They are cream blush sticks. Looking forward to them. Um, been dying to try these, but I have to blog them first before I mess them up. These are Rose Blossom is the pink one and Mango Sorbet. I'm looking forward to this. I haven't had a blush in this peachy shade. I'm over coral but peach I like. And then a Eos, I think you would pronounce it Eos, lip balm. Um, in sweet mint. This mint is ridiculously strong. I can't wait. I absolutely love peppermint, so I'm looking forward to that. Then there is a, I haven't even taken the plastic off, Barry M, where can I show that? Barry M Natural Glow Palette. And I have heard that, um, actually I might be quite disappointed in the Barry M products if they're not that great, but it's more out of curiosity that I'm trying them just because it's something we can't get in South Africa. Um, oh, and a Tanya Burr lip gloss. Keen to try that. I love, it. love um, seeing what when bloggers expand and actually get brands of their own. I think it's quite cool. Um, a Makeup Academy Cream Blush, which I think I'm going to love haven't opened it yet um, and that's it okay so that is from Boots in the UK they have a very cool um, online shop and website so 
it's very easy if you have a friend coming over you can actually just either shop and have it delivered to their place or at least place your orders and just let them go pick it up so eBay it was the first time I purchased from eBay I purchased from a, a, a seller called um, Joy's Cosmetics it's a shop I keep looking cross-eyed it's the first time I'm video um yeah recording myself from my directly from my mac and now i keep looking at myself instead of at the little light where the camera is so i must rather do that but now i keep looking cross-eyed because i do that i should stop that okay it was the first time i bought something off ua um and i mean <laughs> it's pretty straightforward just look for sellers with good ratings um you can read reviews from the different sellers and i decided to keep it simple and just buy a couple of things from one seller just to to give it a go to see see how it goes so the reason I went in went in to buy the stuff is to get some real techniques makeup brushes so I bought the stipple brush which is what I actually wanted um, it's real techniques is by um, a beauty blogger called Samantha Chapman. The, the blog is pixiewoo.com. It's two sisters. Um, and all I can say is all the brushes look smaller in real life. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, but they all look smaller than I thought they would be. And I don't think it's going to be a bad thing. It's just an observation that they look slightly smaller. And then I also have the, I bought the core collection there we go, the Core Collection set, which has a contour brush, buffing brush, um, pointed foundation brush, which looks way too small for foundation, and a detailer brush. So I'll see how that goes. I don't use a lot of um, brushes for complexion things. I'll use some for eyeshadow and eyeliner and so on, and blush, but I am quite keen to start applying foundation when I want to do a full foundation application, I'm quite keen to use brushes and I haven't found any that I like, so I'm going to try those. Then I have a NYX, I want to call it NYX, but apparently I must say NYX. I have a NYX The Curve Eyeliner. It's a liquid liner. I suppose I can take it out. It's a liquid liner, but it, the, instead of a pen, it has a curved applicator. Um, that would make it easier for you to actually apply the eyeliner so it looks like that so I can imagine that applying your eyeliner like this must be quite a bit easier we do actually I'm convinced that we do get these in South Africa but they it was about half the price so I thought I'd give it a try and then I also got um, from NYX Smoky Bronze Smoky Look Kit, which I must have, when it got you, I was like, hey, tiny little eyeshadows. But then, in retrospect, now I'm not going to be able to get this thing open again. Oh, there it is. Um, so it's nine, <laughs> a variety of nine bronze eyeshadows and two lip glasses. And I do think I thought the lip glasses were blushes I can't remember now um, and yeah now it does look a little bit small but I never finish any makeup I get tired of them before I finish them so this is not bad for me at all um, and I think it's a nice compact little case to carry with you and you can do a full eye makeup application and I bought three tweezer man tweezers because I love them but they're so expensive. I think this is the, the tweezer. The slightly, it's a smaller one, so it's not the, the professional tweezer that most professionals use. Um, so I'll take one out. I, brought, I bought a red one and a pink one and a black one. And I'll think if the boyfriend will get one of these. Um, so yeah, it just looks, it's a tweezer. Nothing funny about it. Um, I do really like Tweezer Man Tweezers. Their quality is very good. But I think this small one, if if I'm not sure now, but I think it's about 180 Rand locally. 
and I bought them for <laughs> three or four dollars each <laughs> which I mean you can't even compare so that's why I have also why I have three um, what do I have something else? Oh, I do. And then the seller just chucked in two lip glasses, two full size lip glasses for me, which I, I think it's a nice gift. So that is it. Okay, so I would like to know because I think it's something I might get into now buying things off eBay now, now that I see that people don't steal your money and send you shit. Um, I would like to know which eBay sellers you guys use. Um, and what type of things you buy off eBay. I'm not interested in second-hand stuff or bidding on stuff, just legit nice things. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching and let me know what your poisons are for shopping on.